Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solution Specialist for Avid. With the S6 version 2.0 software update, the soft keys on the master and automation modules have been updated for a better mixing and editing workflow experience. This video will go over these changes. In version 2.0, the soft keys for Pro Tools 12 have been revised for better navigation and improved workflow. All areas in the master module and automation module soft keys, as well as the transport, wheel, and location switches have been modified. To get to these new soft keys, press the factory switch from the soft keys page in settings on the master module screen. Here are some highlights of those changes. All of the soft key navigation switches on both the master and automation modules have been changed to have specific jump locations instead of previous next page toggle. This allows for faster navigation to specific pages, as well as always knowing what page you're going to. There is a group switch on the right master module screen that places both master module screens into groups mode and has access to the first 54 groups in Pro Tools. From here, you can create and suspend groups, modify, duplicate, and delete groups, as well as select, show, and hide tracks in groups. Pressing Session 1 takes you back to each screen's default view. There is also a navigation switch for recent sessions. Pressing this switch will bring up a menu of the 10 most recently opened sessions and allow you to open them from this page. Pressing the switch next to the desired session will start the open session process and switch the screen back to the Session 1 page. To exit out of this page without selecting a session, just press Session 1. The Auto 1 page that is the default page on the left master module screen has now been duplicated and is accessible on the left screen of the automation module from the middle navigation switch. This was done for times when the left screen of the master module is occupied with something else. The right screen on the automation module has gone through some changes. The default page is now labeled Extras and has been consolidated. All of the wheel modes are now on the switches around the jog wheel. The Snapshots Jump Switch was moved from the right master module to this page. When pressed, it brings up the Snapshots page on the left screen of the Automation module. Automation 5 from the left screen is now Automation Special and is accessed from the right screen, next to Snapshots. There is a switch that will take you directly to the Satellites page for enabling and disabling any active satellite Pro Tools system. There is also now a switch that will take you to a Users Page section that allows you to easily create your own soft key sets on three predefined pages. The Jog Wheel Main and Shift Enable modes are functional as well as the following changes. The Plus and Minus switches are set to nudge clip gain up and down. With the Shift switch on the fader module pressed along with Plus and Minus, it will trim the selected clip to start or end. Option Plus Minus will fade the selected clip to start or end, and Command plus minus will nudge the contents of a clip forward or backward. Shift Jog is Mark Out and Shift Shuttle is Mark In. Trim is Move Selection, which is also at Shift Plus. And Shift Trim is Zoom Amplitude. In the Transport section, the following enhancements have been made. Back and Forward, now select Previous and Next Clip. Adding Shift from the Fader Module or QWERTY keyboard adds to the selection, and Option selects Previous and Next Clip Boundaries. Shift Record Mode is Abort Record. Locate is Zoom Toggle. Shift Locate is Zoom to Selection. Option Locate is Zoom to Session. And Command Locate is Previous Zoom. In the Locate section, there have been changes as well. The Memory Location switch now brings up the Memory Locations on the right Automation Module soft key panel. To bring up the Memory Locations window in Pro Tools, use the switch on the right Master Module panel on the Session 1 page. Pressing the left and right navigation switches at the bottom of the right Automation Module panel cycle you through the 10 pages of 10 locators, and the Extra switch in the middle will return you to the default page. There were several switches that were not being used in Pro Tools and now have dedicated actions assigned to them. Down arrow is Clear Selection In, and Shift Down Arrow is Restore Last Selection. 
Trim Plus is Edit Mixer Window Toggle, and Trim Minus is Faders Off. This turns the faders off on the surface but does not disable automation. Store Current is Trim to Selection. Store Locate is Consolidate Clip. Edit is Edit Memory Location. Recall is Undo and Shift Recall is Revert. Delete is Redo. And Clear is Save. Shift Clear is Save As. Option Clear is Save Copy In. And Command Clear is Save as Template. There are also now default soft key sets for Steinberg Nuendo 7 and Cubase 8, as well as Merging Technologies Pyramix 9. Making these changes to the soft keys for S6 version 2.0 and Pro Tools 12 will help in speeding up your mixing and editing workflows. And with the new soft key sets for Nuendo, Cubase, and Pyramix, give you more choices in how you use the system. Thanks for watching, and let S6 inspire your creativity.